It is a big game here tonight. They don't play at home very much. Just three games total in the month of February here at home. It's a big one. The Vipers will go right to left across your radio in the yellows with a dark blue and white trim. The Silverbacks in there, purple with gray. We've seen this before, color on color. I'm a fan. I think you're a fan. We love this will it. look great. Viper goaltending has been exceptional. Here's Adam Boater, stick handling towards the middle, comes loose, here's a slap shot, goal post, Cole Cooksey hit iron, and then it bounces out to the circle. Glad you're with us here on a Saturday night, only game of the week for the Vipers, but they turn the puck over. Here's Isaac Lambert back in, left side, feeds one in front, David got across to make a good save with a toe, as Reed Barconi didn't get all of it, but David was able to extend with the left leg and make a good save. Goes across to Lassard, back for Pastro, just onside, Elliott feeds one in front, rolling puck, Pastro, save Pulver. Allen lost the puck to Patrick Crawl. Crawl in tight, scores! <laughs> Peyton Stroop, six and a half minutes in as the Vipers transition. Patrick Crawl's got his first point as a Viper. Stroop gets his third of the season and the Vipers strike first, it's one nothing. Crawl goes back door and Stroop just taps it through the five hole as Pulver's trying to get across and opens up the wickets. And Vipers get the first goal. Finds Chubby at the circle. Now he'll walk to the top of the line. Feed one into the corner. Pastro. Here's a quick shot from Packlack. Rebound. Pulver. Rob Pastro in tight. Puck comes loose to Montero. He'll lose it to Crawl. Patrick Crawl, right wing side. Tucks to the forehand. Fell down. Pulver made the save. The puck's sitting there. Now the goaltender's got it. Vipers have to be careful on their exits. They have turned a couple of pucks over as here comes Riley Ash into the zone. Feeds one across. And Cooksey double clutched. And then I think David got a piece of it while he was on his belly. Face off right side of Pulver. Vernon will win the face off. Here's Barrett at the left point. He has traffic forming to the middle. Barrett, nice move. Gets some space. Takes the shot. Shoulder save Pulver. That was a nice move by Barrett. He is sneaky quick with a little head fake there. Generated the scoring chance. Cuts into the high slot. Leaves it for DeAngelis. His shot missed the net. Look out. It bounced in front. Paisley got a swing and a miss. And David was able to knock it down. That took a weird end wall bounce. And Elliott again was just in a good spot just to disrupt enough so Paisley couldn't get a clean shot. Martin trying to cut in. A little drop pass. Here's Cooksey shooting. Save David. There's a rebound. And he flashes the leather on Riley Ash to keep that one out too. Some great goaltending there from David. Does a good job just to get out, kill the angle, and get that glove up and make the save. Here's Noah Dory out to center ice. Down the right wing, curling around a man. Dory in tight, he'll shoot and score! <laughs> Noah Dory down the right wing, rifles it five hole on Eli Pulver. 61 seconds into the second period, we got a junior broadcaster goal. Oh, that was a good shot, great shot, right, right through the five hole. Gillespie gets run into by Kim along the boards. Cleves will dig it out. Takes a look out of the half wall. Feeds one to the net. Deflected through the blue paint out the other side. Here's Stavrianeus off the boards. Aiden Sulani will carry in down the left wing. Drives wide. Has a man in front. Gets it there. David will kick out the left pad. Lambert couldn't get a clean shot away. And then David had to make another save off of Lambert to the side of the net. He'll carry to the right wing. Takes a look. Forced away by Bush. Gillespie has a man in front. Got the puck there. And they score. A seeing eye pass from the right wing corner. Marcus Broberg was able to knock it in, and midway through this period, the Silverbacks have a response, and it's two to one. Lassard's able to take it away, and now he'll head up ice. Goes left side for Chubby. Back for Lassard, he'll take it to McGinley. Stopped by Pulver, and two Vipers spill into the goal. Martin carries on out of the corner. Now shifts in front, loose puck on the backhand. David, a good save on Cooksey and a bouncing puck. Now it's spun back to the blue line. Tristan Allen, one-timer, Kim blocked that one. Cooksey's got it down low, wrap around attempt, David down, he'll jump out and trap that one. And right out of the media timeout, the Silverbacks with a couple of good shifts and a couple of good chances again, Ethan David the same. Here's Owen Kim back in, Kim down the right wing, tried to cut to the middle, rolling puck, crashes through, there's going to be a penalty on the play, puck stays out. And I think they're going to give Owen Kim the penalty for goaltender interference. Crossing for Etienne Lessard. Union commit, nice pass ahead. Here's Chubby sneaking in. Adam Chubby to the goal for and he scores! Adam Chubby was due 
And the one that gets him back in the gold column is highlight real material, his 14th of the season. And the Vipers have some breathing room. It's three to one. Chubby gaining the zone with speed, and he's able to keep that speed because that puck was right on his tape, and he goes in on Pulver and sells him a dream, really fakes one way and then goes back the other and slides it past the pad of Pulver. Here's Peyton Strook. Now he's got a step. Peyton Strook can fly. He'll try to get in around Allen. Strook, drop pass. Facinelli stopped by Pulver. Here's Strook. High slot. Dory shoots. That's blocked in front. Sends it back to Pakalak. Cycle the puck in for Cleves. Cleves will try to dislodge himself. Nice curl move. Left the puck behind. Gets it back. Now switch to the blue line. Cleves to the high slot. Stavri and is shooting. He scores. The water bottle stood no chance. Stavri Aeneas made it explode. It got the over 3,000 fans up again, and the Vipers lead by three. It's four to one. Here's Martin into the zone, sending it left side, back in front, tipped wide by Riley Ash. It rolls through David, and he's got it squeezed behind him, and that'll stop play. 11-11, that's got to be good luck. The Vipers leading four to one. Stavri Aeneas knocked it free, but Montero is able to reel it back in. Nice pass to Tristan Allen. He'll shoot. Good save, David. Out aggressively to make that save on a good chance in front from Tristan Allen. Play went ahead to Anthony Klish. He'll let one go. Gets his own rebound. Sends one in front. Loose puck. Bibby rolling puck still down. Pulver's the save. Now it's off the crossbar, and it rolls wide. Boy, what a chance there as Pulver was down. That puck floated right off the crossbar, and now there's a bit of a yard sale happening. Vipers get it. Elliott. Klish, let it go, save Pulver, rebound, Bibby dives, and it's off the back of the net. And then a Viper gets buried in behind the net. What are we looking at? Now Cleves is going to take a penalty because the officials were staring right at Owen Kim, getting hammered in below the red line. My goodness. Montero, one-timer blocked by Elliott. He'll get it back, David, the save. The rebound comes loose, and that was blocked again. Look out, a couple of bouncing pucks. Montero, the bouncing puck. David can't get across. They score. J.J. Montero able to knock it home at 14 minutes on a scramble in front. Mackey comes in, 70 seconds left, pass in front. David kicks out a big rebound. Here's a shot. He makes that save two off Cooksey. Owen Kim crossing for Facinelli. He'll walk in, holds, shoots, and scores. Julian Facinelli's got goals in back-to-back -back games. The Vipers hit the empty net. And now they've got that three goal cushion restored. It's five to two. Vipers win that face off, clear it to the blue line and out. And you can put the baby to bed after a couple of tough losses on the road. The Vipers welcome Interior Conference rival Savin Arm. And a tight game through 40 minutes. Sees the Vipers pull away in the third. Take this one by a final score of 5-2. 22-14-1 and one on the season, 13-5-1 and one here at home. The Silverbacks will fall to 24-12 and have lost back-to-back -back games here this weekend.